Hi guys, I'm back with another video here. I'm, I did record this, but I guess I had my ISO way too high and so you couldn't see anything. Uh, the video was super bright. So I'm just going to share what I did with you. Um, I've got another couple of pages done in my, my Snap album. And so in the first video I showed that I'm, I'm, I don't know that I'm going to really use any page protectors. And so my pages end up being seven wide and eight and a half high. And then I just punch the holes out with a, with a hole punch. And I've used some reinforcers on, on some of them just because it's going to get flipped through right through the years kind of thing and then it doesn't get all destroyed and start falling out and so my thinking is it's kind of like um you know like you would make a mini album and there aren't any page protectors in in mini albums that you know you make homemade so that's kind of what i'm going with and so i showed this one in the last video and so i got this one done here and i embossed the back the background paper and this and these guys are fun foam and then I just end the butterfly and so I cut those out of dies I'll show you how I got the color on it there and I punched some some butterflies and just um, kind of sprinkled them around you know concentrated them in some areas and then uh, just to kind of lead your eye around and so they're just sort of placed around the photo and then there's nothing behind this one I just wanted a whole bunch of white space so I used two pages and then I really like this bowl paper but I found it a little too bright with the photo it was just taking over so I put a piece of vellum over it and then it was perfect uh, I really liked how that looked and that worked out great and so and this is a piece of vellum as well that I put my words on and I glued it down behind the words and behind the butterflies with my my fine line glue glue bottle this is an awesome bottle guys it's got a really fine tip to it and then this guy fits inside there of course I can't do it well you know while I'm filming and then it doesn't clog, right? Because the other one fits in the in the uh, in the other one fits into the other, and then it doesn't clog. It doesn't dry. <clears throat> and so my uh, I should probably pull it up so you can see it. Maybe hey, there you go. I put a few pop dots behind some of the butterflies, and I put them so that they're not all both sides pop dotted like this one's flat and then this one's up so it kind of makes it a little more dimensional and that's little miss maggie when she was a puppy she was passed out right in the middle of this huge dog bed because we had a large dog at that time too and she had run herself ragged outside and this uh, big bed was out on the deck and i looked over and there she was just passed right out on her back with her little pink lips and her pink belly. And so I like the mini books that have a large photo and the photo is the entire page. I really wanted to do that. And so that's just a close up shot of the other one, just a different orientation. And I put, uh, that is some bad lipstick you have going on because that's what my daughter used to say about her, right? When she was a puppy, because she's got really bad lipstick, it looks like. She's part Aussie as well, although you can't tell now, she just looks border collie. But she is part Aussie, and so that's where you get the those markings from. This was in 2008. And then again, this is fun foam letters that I, that I made, that I'm going to get to, and show you what I did there. And then I really like this font because it's really nice and clean. It's easy to read. And it's, it's a nice size for mini albums and the scrapbook layouts that I make because I do 8.5 by 11 and I like this smaller size font. Some of the thickers I find a little bit too tall if I want to say a lot. There's no way I could get them on here. And then this is just a little felt bowl that I cut. 
and I embossed some some white cardstock and I ran it through my my cut and boss with uh, my camera folder and so these pages pretty much all of them I have glued them back to back to make them more sturdy right and so I've just got a plain piece of cardstock here you can see the reinforcers there and so when I do my other page I'll glue that and I'll end up with three and it'll be really thick but that's okay it'll just make it more sturdy and then I glued the photo to the back of this so it, it, it makes it just a little bit more sturdy right and so I'll just pull this one up so that you can see this one as well there you go and so some of the some of the letters are a little darker and others are a little lighter because what I did let's get this closed up here this is a snap album by the way it's their six by eight snap uh, simple stories album really like the size of that so what I did is I took some fun foam this is just white fun foam and it's like it's a eight and a half by eleven sheet you know those sheets you can get just at the dollar store and I painted it with just with acrylic paint there you go and I mixed a pink and a white and I just I left it so that it wouldn't be all one color because I kind of liked how it gave a bit of a gradient and the letters were a little bit different and then once that dried I just uh, took my die and I cut the letters out there I think you can see the letters there how they're darker and lighter it's hard to pick it up on camera because it is subtle but in real life you can see what it looks like and so there's the die there and I did write the name of it down so that you could, in case you wanted to know, it's a memory box. What is it? Parker lowercase alpha die. And so I really like, like I said, I really like the size of this die because you can write a whole bunch of stuff out. And you've got room even on a smaller page, right? And so, and I, I like doing that because you end up with the dimension and because this book is ending up being pretty simple. I know, I think I said in my last video, I wasn't really going to have a theme for this book, but of course it's turning into another dog book because, <laughs> you know, I love my puppy dogs. It's all about the dogs around here. So, but I do have another album that, um, I'm I'm thinking I'm just going to make you know layouts with it and not not um, not a theme like I do my regular albums I just and I don't really scrapbook chronologically either I'm all over the place because I sort of scrapbook whatever I'm in the mood to do that day so there you have it hopefully you got some ideas and uh, you're liking the album and that's it for this time. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.